exciting news. NASA has officially confirmed Starliner's return plan after significant controversy. However, the intriguing detail lies in NASA's implications regarding Dragon, highlighting the continued importance of SpaceX's spacecraft. What decision has NASA recently made regarding Starliner and Dragon? Join us as we delve into this crucial update on today's episode of Great SpaceX. Hard to get it up, and now can't get it down. This succinctly captures Boeing Starliner's current plight. Following numerous delays in June due to a helium leak and thruster issues, July brought further disappointment with an indefinite schedule. Amid mounting frustration, NASA convened a crucial online meeting on July 10th to discuss Starliner's future, particularly its return plan. This meeting yielded significant insights. First and foremost, let's address the burning question on everyone's mind. How will the two astronauts return? In a significant revelation, the agency stated, and, and then, you know, after that, we've talked about the, the beautiful thing about commercial crew program is that we have two, two vehicles, two different systems that we could use to, to return crew. And two vehicles and two different systems. Perhaps you're as intrigued as I am by NASA's implication. The vehicle in question is likely SpaceX's Dragon. In fact, it can only be Dragon as there are currently no other viable options for NASA and Boeing to consider. This acknowledgement finally confirms what the entire world suspected. Dragon is now an essential part of the plan to bring astronauts safely back. But stay calm, because the aforementioned statement does not confirm that Dragon will definitely fly to rescue the Starliner crew. According to this statement, Dragon will only serve as a backup solution officially added by NASA to be ready for emergencies. NASA clarified this point in another statement, stating, so, so we have a little bit more time to go through the data and then make, make a decision as to whether we need to do anything different, but the prime option today is to return Butch and Sonny on Starliner. They even confirmed, uh, there's really been no discussion with sending another Dragon uh, to, to rescue the Starliner crew. This indicates that while NASA has considered Dragon, they remain committed to trusting their own system. So, is this the right choice? According to NASA's recent updates, they opted to delay the return schedule to thoroughly assess issues with Starliner. However, their plans didn't unfold as expected. During discussions, NASA officials acknowledged that ground testing of the Reaction Control System, or RCS propulsion, at NASA's White Sands Test Facility in New Mexico failed to replicate the conditions experienced by the thrusters in flight. Specifically, Steve Stitch, NASA's Commercial Crew Program Manager, disclosed that engineers employed heaters in attempts to simulate the thermal conditions encountered during firing and sun exposure. Ultimately, he concluded, uh, the temperatures we've been able to achieve are not quite what we would have hoped for uh, based on the flight data. He added that the structures on the Starliner service module, known as doghouses, which house the thrusters, may retain more heat than previously thought. Engineers are currently evaluating whether additional tests will be necessary before shifting focus to modeling the thruster performance for the spacecraft's departure. It's worth noting that the RCS thrusters are less intensively used for station departure and deorbiting, with the actual deorbit burn performed by separate, larger thrusters. This is another setback for NASA and Boeing. Earlier this month, both parties decided to indefinitely delay the schedule to simulate the Starliner incident on the ground. This was intended to provide a better understanding of Starliner's current issues and enable immediate repair solutions, as well as better preparation for the future. Unfortunately, this effort did not yield the expected results, but somehow they are still confident that Starliner can return home safely in the event of an emergency. With the problems highlighted, there's no reason at this time for me to believe that. And I think many people share my concern about the return journey of the two astronauts. So, if the decision remains, when will Starliner return? In NASA's latest update, the agency said NASA and Boeing continue working to increase their understanding of the Starliner spacecraft's propulsion system before the return of agency astronauts Butch Wilmore and SUNY Williams to Earth from the International Space Station. Teams are conducting ground tests at the agency's White Sands Test Facility in New Mexico using a new reaction control system thruster previously planned for use on a future Starliner flight. During that teleconference, Steve Stitch estimated, I think some of the data suggests optimistically maybe it's by the end of July. Mark Nappy, Boeing's vice president and commercial crew program manager, highlighted ongoing efforts by engineers to address over 30 specific issues related to both thruster problems and helium leaks, with more than half already resolved. The remaining actions are slated for completion by the end of next week. 
Future tasks involve conducting additional tests on flanges and seals within the propulsion system to pinpoint the root cause of helium leaks. Nappy initially suggested that some seals might be undersized and require replacement on thrusters, designated for the upcoming Starliner mission, though he later clarified this point during the discussion. Regarding mission completion and return timing, both parties emphasized that it hinges on engineering progress and the schedule of the Dragon Crew 9 mission, currently set for mid-August, with the International Space Station facing capacity constraints. Starliner must then undock soon to accommodate Crew 9, thus any delay must not exceed this deadline. As we're now midway through July, there's only half a month until Steve stitches targeted date and a month until the Crew 9 schedule. This leaves NASA and the Boeing team with limited time to resolve everything. They've even accelerated their efforts to complete all tasks ahead of schedule in case Starliner cannot be repaired. If necessary, NASA will need to coordinate with SpaceX to launch a Dragon for potential Starliner astronaut rescue, followed by the Crew-9 mission. Such critical schedules require careful planning by NASA and preparation by SpaceX for both the launch vehicle and spacecraft. What are your thoughts? Will Starliner return as planned? Please comment yes or no below to join the discussion. Don't forget to like, share the video, and subscribe to the channel for more updates on SpaceX and the aerospace industry. Once the decisions are finalized, we'll await Boeing and NASA's next steps. Now, let's peer into the future to see what lies ahead for this spacecraft. Indeed, the path ahead promises to be fraught with numerous challenges and intense competition. Starliner's current performance suggests it faces formidable rivals in the field. As mentioned earlier, following Starliner's return, SpaceX is poised to launch its ninth crew resupply mission. SpaceX has already completed nine official missions under NASA's commercial crew program, along with one demo mission, all within a span of fewer than five years. Furthermore, Dragon has successfully conducted four additional private missions and 30 cargo missions. These figures underscore a substantial disparity between the $2.6 billion powerhouse and the $4.5 billion dud. Looking ahead, when NASA plans to bring Starliner back, SpaceX's Dragon will embark on a significant mission, Polaris Dawn. This challenging endeavor that involves a spacewalk will once again highlight Dragon's superiority over Starliner. If the demo crew mission encounters delays, it's uncertain when Starliner could undertake a similar mission, possibly extending into the next decade or beyond. Looking forward to early next year, Dragon is scheduled to launch the Crew-10 mission, roughly coinciding with Starliner-1. This stark contrast highlights the significant gap that has emerged in just a few short years. I'm confident Crew-10 will launch before Starliner-1, and if you agree, please comment 10 below. When compared to SpaceX, Boeing's Starliner faces daunting odds. Even in comparison to other competitors, Starliner doesn't demonstrate a clear path to victory. I want to highlight Dream Chaser, the new space plane from Sierra Space. Despite not having launched yet, this doesn't diminish its potential compared to Starliner. While Starliner has faced numerous developmental challenges leading to schedule delays, Dream Chaser has shown promising test results. Its current hurdle lies in coordinating with its launch vehicle, the ULA Vulcan. Ultimately, the true assessment of superiority will come after its official flight. Personally, I believe Dream Chaser could outperform Starliner if Boeing doesn't resolve its issues promptly. This is the future Boeing and its spacecraft face. They've entered a competitive race and must now forge ahead. Much hinges on the outcome of the CFT-1 mission. With the decision made, we await developments in the coming weeks. Above all, I hope both astronauts return safely after what promises to be a dramatic journey aboard the Boeing spacecraft. Well folks, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in, and as always, this has been Kevin from Great SpaceX. Until next time, keep looking up.